Martin Miller's Gin came about um, 13 years ago over a long lunch with two friends of mine, uh, one of which is David Bromage, who is a sort of, uh, he was a guru in the drinks industry and creating brands and knowing exactly what we should do. Well, I've known Martin for a very long time now, and he's probably one of the most uh, iconoclastic, uh, eccentric people that I know. Uh, he's always coming up with lots and lots of ideas. I've attempted a lot of things in my part which I had no knowledge of. I started publishing when I didn't know how to put a book together and with the gin I knew what it tasted like, what I wanted it to taste like, but I didn't know how you would actually you know, conceive the gin. And he was basically very enthused with the idea of reinventing or reinvigorating the gin category. There were gin drinks around and there were gin brands around but I think a lot of the large companies had largely neglected the category and it was being left pretty much to the the the, the older demographic and we felt that there was a desire amongst younger people particularly these new mixologists that were coming up and that really led to us having further meetings and discussing the possibility of producing a really great quality gin where money and time wasn't an object. Well why is Martin Miller's gin different to other gins? Uh, I think it's, it's very much it's in the attention to the process. Martin insisted that we stuck with the traditional methods but that we did something that gave it a modern twist. And we have a double distillation method where, where we have two distillations which are then blended, which I think is, is unique to us. What we do is we take what we call the earthy botanicals, that's the juniper, the cassia, the Florentine iris, the angelica, and we distill that in one pot at one go. So we create essentially a very, very powerful juniper flavored gin. We distill separately the bitter orange peel, the lemon and the lime and create almost a citrus vodka. Following that, the two are married in a, in a container for about 10 days to make the final distillate. That distillate is then shipped to Iceland. And in Iceland, we use Icelandic water, which is basically a water that comes from an artesian spring that is fed by melt water from a glacier that has actually filtered for about 800 years through the mountain. The water has an amazing effect on the gin. It makes the delivery of the botanicals in terms of the aroma very gentle and gradated. It also softens the alcohol burn. So that gives the gin a very, very special mouth feel. We think it's one of the best gins in the world. I use Martin Miller's gin in cocktails. For one, it's very versatile. It tastes great in anything from uh, classic style cocktails, uh, you know, such as the Bee's Knees, uh, your classic martini. I actually used Mark Miller's gin in a cocktail that I recently won in Las Vegas for WSWA, uh, Tony Abuganam's Call for Mixology competition. The cocktail that I actually made uh, had uh, Mark Miller's gin 80. We used a little bit of dry sack sherry, which is a fortified wine from uh, southern Spain and Jerez. Blackberry puree, a little raspberry puree. Uh, some blood orange, some fresh lemon juice, a little bit of orange bitters, some egg whites for that texture in the cocktail, and a little bit of agave syrup. I strained it into a coupe glass and added a little bit of a raspberry and uh, some rosemary as a garnish. I think people are now just beginning to realize that, you know, a, a, a properly made gin is a great drink. We're not going for, it's not a mass market gin, but it's really a gin that's, that's, uh, that's pure quality and people who appreciate the quality, we want them to say this is the best gin in the world. Our slogan, which is um, born out of love, obsession and uh, a degree of madness, really does say it all because we all had a love of gin and we were very obsessive about getting the product right. Um, and the madness, we were completely mad to go into a drinks industry which no one in their right mind would put money into. And um, we, we did it for ourselves and in doing so I think we, we, we made a great product which luckily the world's beginning to appreciate.